You're live. You're live. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, guys, we're here with Hillary Duff. Um, she is in town to do younger, right? Yeah, but also three. season three, so fun. Um, but today we're here to talk with her about all things Stella Artois and summer and uh, what she does to get in shape, et cetera, et cetera. All the fun things. So please um, ask Hillary your questions in the comments. Um, lots of hearts and likes so far. Oh, good. <laughs> so yeah. Um, keep you're... asking me, keep putting the hearts on there. <laughs> you're back in the city to do season three of Younger. Yes. Um, do you have to worry about like getting in shape when you're thinking about getting back on set? I should. Um, <laughs> I think I always kind of worry about being in shape, but there's definitely times where I go through phases of not caring as much and time times where I'm like, okay, I need a I need to kick it in the gear. You know, I think everyone's like that. Yeah, though. totally. Um, I have a very busy life. You know, I'm a mom of a four year old, so he takes priority over everything, and life gets really busy. And so this time around, I wasn't as <laughs> on top of it as I was last season but I'm just you know normal I'm not I'm not I don't put a ton of pressure on myself to be like perfect was that always the case or did you have to get to that place in your career where you were just like more comfortable yeah I think it took a while to get to that place you know when when I was younger I felt a lot more pressures um, and I, I probably cared a lot more of what people said or thought about me and it was also a time where like the internet was just hitting where like everyone was obsessed with celebrities and bodies and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So now I just don't, I'm just at a calmer, more like peaceful place. I, also, I think after having a kid, like I don't come first anymore, you know, so I don't have as yeah. much time to worry about it. Obviously I care about how I look and I care about taking care of myself and being like in a good me mental place and working out really helps that. Mm -hmm. um, but. I also like to eat food and drink drinks, <laughs> enjoy my life, you know? Okay, so let's talk about what life is like when you're not caring as much and you're like enjoying things and eating and drinking. It's a full-blown rave all the time. <laughs> <laughs> what are some favorite things you love to eat and drink? Um, well, I'm partnering with Stella Artois today, but I'm actually a huge fan of theirs, so I was really excited. Um, that is my go-to beer, but I'm also a big wine drinker and you know, like if I have a night out, it's going to dinner with friends and having a few drinks and like going home and watching a show. So I'm definitely not as exciting as I used to be, but I really enjoy that. And that's my, you know, like idea of a nice night out where I'm not brushing a four year old's teeth, like <laughs> making sure he gets to bed on time and all of that stuff. What's your um, go-to wine? I like a rosé right now, and I'm not I'm not too picky. I like it like a dry rosé. It's hot, you know, so a beer or rosé always sounds refreshing. Mm -hmm. um, that sounds nice right now. Yeah, I know. It's almost it's almost time. You can crack <laughs> one open if you want. <laughs> and then what about when you're like in gear and trying to kick your butt back into shape? What sort of routine do you get into? How many times are you working out a week? It depends on how much time I have to get in shape and, you know, how much, if I'm like actually losing weight or just trying to tone up, but definitely cutting alcohol is, mm -hmm. a, is a good, you know, quick fix, but it never lasts long for me. <laughs> um, and, you know, cutting carbs, doing like easy, high protein, lots of fruits and veggies, and, you know, knowing when to eat. Um, before I came to start, I, I got to New York to start shooting for two weeks. I stopped eating after 6 p.m. Oh, wow. It's impossible. It's so hard. <laughs> what time hard. do you go to sleep? Like, I would be in bed by like eight. <laughs> I got to, or else I would be like tempted to like creep downstairs and be a little mouse and be like. Um, Why does that help? It just, What's the secret it, like, there? It puts your body into like a, this sounds terrible. It's not meant to sound like this, but it puts your body into like a star starvation mode where it actually like digests, like, burns up through everything that you put in it throughout the day. Mm -hmm. So you have to make sure that you eat, you know, good, healthy and foods during the day and fats and stuff, but by six, cutting it off and then, you know, not eating until like eight in the morning. Yeah. It's um, a good little trick. I wish I could pull that off somehow, <laughs> but I'm going to also sleep. Also teas, like, um, uh, what's it called? Ha 
Hawthorne uh, dandelion root tea is a oh. good like uh, natural diuretic. Um, what does it taste like? I have a weird taste in tea, so it's a bit bitter, but I like that. And obviously, you can't put a bunch of honey in it. And all <laughs> you can't make it taste delicious. <laughs> um, are there any like fitness secrets that you work into your routine as well? Like things that you sort of do that at the gym that really help you? Um, I don't have any secrets. I mean, everyone knows. Like, we're in such a fitness obsessed world. I feel like people know what they need to do to to make it work. But obviously cardio and I do a lot of like strength training stuff, a lot of jumping, a lot of medicine balls, a lot of deadlifts and like hip thrusts and all that stuff. How much weight can you I deadlift? Can, I can do a lot. I don't know the exact weight, but I'm a pretty strong little gal. <laughs> um, I pull sleds. Um, the other thing, my trainer's telling me like after you start off with cardio and then you do your training and then you jump back on the treadmill afterwards for like at least 15 minutes because it, I don't know, it, I don't know how to talk that kind of language, but I do notice it works. So after your workout, even though you're exhausted, try to do some more cardio. Interesting. Okay. Um, going back to being a working mom, you posted a super sweet Instagram talking about that. I'm going to cry. Oh I'm no. Like, oh, I miss him so much. I know. How much time do you usually spend apart from him? Like, how do you balance those things? Like having a career and... Yeah. In LA, I don't spend very much time away from him at all. Like two or three days max. I'm a single mom, so we share him. And that's a really good schedule for us because when we're with him, we're very present. And when we're not, we can like get all of our work done or have a little time for ourselves, you know, and then we get him back shortly after. Mm -hmm. And I shoot in New York and it's too much for him to be flying back and forth all the time so and I work like 15 hour days so I'd rather him be with his dad and in his normal schedule than with me and an aunt you know like right. with me for a brief amount of time in the morning and at night and then with a nanny all day so yeah. it sucks but he's coming tomorrow which I'm very excited about with my oh mom. how exciting so I'll have a long weekend with him and then once we get more of like a schedule going with the show I'll fly home almost every weekend has he ever been to New York before? I'm yeah. guessing so, yeah. He spent, a, like, we've done two seasons. Yeah. Years, and he was a little bit younger, so school wasn't as important. Mm -hmm. So he would spend, like, big chunks of time out here with me. Does he and have... he loves it. He loves the subway. Oh, really? <laughs> Until the subway stopped one day. You know how it stops and it takes breaks yeah. because it gets backed up or there's, like, some kind of... Like, in the in-between stations. Yes. Yeah. And there was so many people traveling. And he loved it, loved it, loved it until that day. And he was like, I don't fly... I don't think I like this anymore. <laughs> and I was like, me neither, buddy. That sucks. I know. I know. It's like hot down here and it's like smelly. Um, do people recognize you on the subway? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Which is fine. I mean, whatever. It's funny, though. Everyone likes to think that New York's, New Yorkers are so much cooler. And they're like, oh, no one here cares. I'm like, well, yeah, they do. <laughs> they just try to be more sneaky about it. Like, take your picture. I'm like, just ask me. I'll, t I'll take a picture with you. But like... I don't want to be like doing something weird, right, you know. Right. <laughs> but I, I love it here. I'm not trying to talk smack on New Yorkers, but we're just not as cool as LA people. <laughs> no, you are. You're just um, different, you know. Um, but I do. Yeah, I get recognized. I love to go on the subway though. It's so much faster. I hate the traffic, so it's nice to get some place quick and whatever. Talking like a New Yorker. I know. <laughs> By the way, I'm always lost and on the wrong train, but I'll figure it out someday. Should we take reader questions? Yes, okay. everyone is freaking out. Okay. Um, everyone's obsessed with your outfit and your oh, shoes. <laughs> um, I wait, what first I just shoes? have to say, oh yeah, what are your shoes? Everyone's dying. Uh, Alexandra Berman. Alexandra nice, Berman? they're so cute. You know I wanna read this caption, or this comment verbatim. Elian says, wow, she looks awesome, all caps, which is like the theme <laughs> for comments. But anyways, one of the comments from Erica was actually, what do you eat in a typical day? Great so, question. Yeah. Oh. Um, every day is different. Um, lately I've been making oatmeal before work and putting like a scoop of almond butter in it, which is super tasty. Mm. And, um, I also make shakes in the morning. I really like this like egg white protein with a bunch of like fruits and veggies in it. Um, I love a sandwich more than anything in life, but I don't get to eat them all the time as much as I want. <laughs> Um, what kind of sandwiches? 
Um, I don't even know what they're called, but I had a sandwich here the other day that was like on this delicious like crusty bread and it was like, I don't know, it was Vietnamese. It had like... A banh mi? Maybe. It was, <laughs> but it didn't have that like really soft bread. It had like a crunchy bread uh -huh. and a steak uh -huh. and it had like carrots and cucumbers yeah. and um, cilantro and I was just like... Oh, I love those things. <laughs> um, but also, like, when I'm working, I try to make stuff over the weekend, like a big thing of quinoa to, like, throw in some salad. Or mm, you're rice. a meal prepper. I have to be. Plus, I cook for a three-year-old all the time. So if I don't have a four-year-old, um, <laughs> if I don't have stuff on hand that's healthy for me, I'll just, like, clean up his plate, and that's not a good look. There was another question, actually, about how you keep the motivation to eat healthy. Are there things? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I just try to balance it out. A lot of people are asking about your favorite workout or if you have like a fun fitness trend that you're interested in right now. Well, in LA, I, I love this climbing class. It's called Rise Nation and it's only 30 minutes, which is amazing. Like that's- Is it at a climbing gym? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, I think there'll be one here soon, but um, it's nice because it's literally 30 minutes and I love that. But I do everything everybody else does. You know, I do Soul Cycle, and I really want to try Orange Theory. And um, what's Orange Theory? It's like a thing where they hook you up to a machine, or like they're like your screens, and they're you're like competitive with yourself on the treadmill and your neighbor, and you're kind of like I don't really know. I haven't done it yet. I oh, okay. It. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think it's nice to be in the city because there's so many options, you know, of different stuff. So Allison wants to know how many times a week you work out on average. God. This question. I know. They love I your body. I really love to work out, guys. <laughs> Do it because I have to. Um, four, five times. Four or five times. Mixing it up with like strength training and like some kind of cardio class. I love this non fitness related question, which is that they, someone here is obsessed with your fragrances and they want to know if you're going to have more fragrances in the future. Aww, <laughs> someone tweeted me that the other day and they were like, they, did they stop making your fragrance? How can I get it? Is it like. Is there a bulk of it anywhere? It was so nice. Um, you know what? I am working on like cracking open my lifestyle brand again, and I don't know how long it will take or on what kind of like scale it will be on. But I'm a super girly girl, and I'm like a product whore. So um, yeah, possibly in the future. But that one's I think that one's long gone. <laughs> um, Brittany wants to know if your kids eat the same food as you, or do you often feed them things like chicken nuggets and mac and cheese? <laughs> He it surprises me sometimes because if we're out, you know, with having a play date with like friends or something, it's easier to just order the kids like something that they will all eat. And it surprises me how often I'm having to like jam a chicken finger down his throat. Like he doesn't want to eat it. I'm like, I wish someone would force me to eat a what chicken. What does he finger. love to eat? I mean, it just depends on the day. He loves miso soup right now. I, I know. Wow. Um, Such a gourmand. <laughs> but he loves noodles with like butter, so he, he definitely eats kid food. But he'll eat like a whole bag of spinach. You know how when you cook spinach, how it shrinks down so much? He's eaten a whole bag of spinach once. But, um, you know, he also loves fruit roll ups, so <laughs> he's got the balance thing figured out. That's awesome. Learn from the best. Um, a lot of, I've seen a lot of comments from mothers who also like want to get back into shape do you have any tips for moms who are looking to get back on the fitness track mm -hmm. it was so hard for me it's such a bummer honestly because you're just like you have this new baby or in my case he was one and i was like i still have this body what happened um it's just hard it takes like a lot of focus and dedication and just you know knowing that it's possible to get back into shape you know like talking to your friends about it, just trying to motivate, you know, and reserve your energy to make sure you can get to the gym and really cutting out things that, you know, are your vices for a little while. I feel like it's so tough now too, because before it might've been just celebrity moms who like miraculously got back to their pre-baby By the weight. way, I was not the celebrity mom that that happened to. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of other ones. I don't know why I couldn't have fallen in that category, but. <laughs> not that anybody was judging, but you know, it was like before it was just celebrity moms and now it's like women on Instagram who are just sort of like everyday women who show That's off their. That's a whole other conversation. Yeah, it's so stressful. Mm -hmm. um, anyway. Yeah, though I think 
Do you want to take one more question? Um, so a lot of people are asking you about your music and everyone wants to know if you're going to go on tour again. Um, I don't want to say never because sometimes I, you know, oh my god, what am I going to say? <laughs> I, probably not with this record, no. Um, I, I did start making a little bit of music about a month ago just to get, sometimes I just get inspired and I'm like, oh, I want to go, I want to go write and get this like down so I have something to listen to to find a base of like what a potential record could be or sound like or, or just a direction. Um, so I did do that before I started shooting, which is exciting. So I think I'll definitely make another record and hopefully one that I'll want to tour with. But I don't know what that means for my life. You know, yeah. I'm never probably going to go on a giant world tour ever again. I'm, it's so grueling. It's so grueling. And I have I have this amazing child that, you know, I feel like I, I already miss, miss too much. And I don't want that kind of life for him. I want him to, like, go to school and I want to, like, do pick up and drop off and, like, go volunteer at the school and stuff so um there's a part of me that really misses it that was like you gotta let that go but i can always do one-off shows and i think that'd be perfectly satisfying yeah it doesn't sound like much of a sacrifice since you love Lucas so much and like... yeah i know i know he's he's much more important and fun awesome well thank you guys so much for tuning in be sure to subscribe to cosmo's live notifications to see us again when we pop up and thank you so much for tuning in to watch hillary bye guys bye